Jen, what other must-haves can you find at Spice and Tea Merchants? I see a lot behind you there. So many must-haves. Yes, and no matter what it is you're cooking, so I'm holding sea salt. If you're looking for sea salt, we got Brazilian, Himalayan, Italian, wild porcini, Merlot, black truffle. I mean, dozens. Who knew there were this many kinds of sea salt? You obviously knew. Yeah, I obviously <laughs> did know. <laughs> so Gretchen, so many different spices, anything you could possibly dream of. And not only can you get spices that are, you know, kind of in bulk, but you can also get them very freshly mixed. Absolutely. We do have a lot of spice blends. We have several dozen. Um, we feature those on our middle um, benches here. We have some that we mix in house. Um, we have some that we get from our warehouse in Saugatuck. We're based in Saugatuck, Michigan. So let's talk about some of them that you have actually mixed yourself. Here uh, on the table we have spiced ham seasoning and this is really interesting because I we've got the spiced seasoning in the package like you might see it on the shelf but this is a blend that you've made here from the store. Yes, absolutely. And um, walk me through some of the elements that are next to this that are in there. So in addition to the salts and sugars that are going to be the base of your ham rum, we also have cloves, cinnamon, and allspice. So that's going to bring those Eastery flavors, those holiday flavors to that blend. I love that. And then next to that plate, you have something looking a little odd. And you right. told me what it was, and I was sort of shocked. So tell the people what that is. So this is nutmeg. And if you are what? used to buying nutmeg in a powdered form, you're going to find that we have a lot of whole spices. Nutmeg is one of those. So I wouldn't even know what to do with that. Right. And it's this is a whole nutmeg. And if you're looking to get the most flavor out of your spices, buying them whole, using them fresh is going to make a really big difference. So particularly with nutmeg, Egg, you take this little nut and you use your microplaner and grate it. So you can grate it like this and then use it as an ingredient or you can do it directly over the top. It's great actually in cream sauces like macaroni and cheese, something wow. you might not expect. It adds that little bit of flavor. But and this is an actual nut and we don't need to crack it open. Yeah, it's a little different than a nut because this is solid all the way through. So oh. you can use this all the way down to the last little itty bitty bit. And look at so, that fine yeah. grate and it's fresh yep. and so Oh you can gosh, smell I it can, already, right? I can smell yeah, it from it's really here. Fabulous. I'm standing a number of feet from you and I can yeah. smell it. Really incredible and fabulous. And so what a fun thing to try at home, too, just to Absolutely. do something a little bit different. You can get those spices in bulk or you can buy the pre packages. And, uh, you know, like you heard uh, Gretchen mention, this is a, a Michigan based company with blends and that are very specific to Michigan. And if we pan just a tiny bit to the right, you can see there's an entire aisle of blends of spices for different meats. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a lot of meat rubs over there. Our Saugatuck steak blend is gonna be one of our most popular ones. It adds um, a nice depth of flavor with the powdered Worcestershire. Um, fabulous on a ribeye that you might pick up downstairs at Sparrow. That's really fun. And then I think, you know, one of the fun things too is if you're cooking or, you know, perhaps you wanna put something fun in an adult Easter basket, you've got these really great little Gift ideas, I you know, this right here, we've got Szechuan pepper, four pepperoncini blend, white pepper. I mean, this is what's really fun. Absolutely. Dozens of salts, dozens of peppers, things that uh, would just add something a little different to some of your favorite dishes. And Carytown Market is open seven days a week. So you can come by today or you can wait for the middle of the week. They are here, locally owned, about 20 shops. Each one is an adventure in and of itself. Jen, I'm going to toss things back to you.